I'm sitting here together with uh, Isabel de Klerk. Welcome, Isabel. Nice to meet you. Uh, may I introduce you as the leading lady of social uh, technology? Great. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. Um, it's a reflection moment. Um, I think two years ago we started with MyKN platform, social collaboration platform. I think now two years later it's a good moment to have a bit of reflection on that platform. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of magic behind, but apparently for yeah, a lot of employees the magic is not always clear. So can you share a bit your expertise in the magic behind social? Yeah. Digital transformation is about uh, servicing better your client and if you do that working in silos it simply is not possible anymore because each silo has like a limited view on the customer. Mm -hmm. So what you need is breaking down the silos and how can you do that by sharing knowledge mm -hmm. by social collaboration. You have easier, easier access to people, uh, to knowledge, uh, to the answer to your uh, problems. It's about raising your voice. It's about lifelong learning. But of course, all of that presupposes a certain mindset. And it's a mindset of proactivity, a mindset of curiosity. And that is really new for a lot of people uh, because you ha they have to take care of their learning and their development also themselves. So social, it's not really, well, it is also about technology, mm -hmm. but in fact, it's about new ways of working, about new ways of learning, and about new ways of leading. So it is not that easy. The first thing is that there has to be a strategic why of the implementation of social. So what is the strategy of your organization and how does the technology will help to realize the strategic objectives of your organization? If that is not clear, why should people change their behavior? Mm. That's one. Another thing, the why, the strategic why is not enough. You have to translate it into advantages for the individual. And you also need to translate social collaboration into concrete mm. behavior. Mm. What do you want the people to do? Mm. It's not just about sharing information, mm. promotional stuff, but you have to ask questions, you have to share your knowledge. And we think that people, because they have uh, posts on Facebook or mm. on Instagram, that they know how to share your, their knowledge. Mm. Well, they don't know how to do mm. it. It's a new skill mm. and it presupposes another mindset. As long as you see knowledge sharing as something that you have to do on top of your work, then people will not take the time to do this. Mm. So you should see it as in the flow of your work. Mm -hmm. When you do something, then take the time for reflection. What have, have I learned that could be useful for my community? And then share it with the others in a concise way mm -hmm. so that there is no information overload. Tagging it, uh, mm -hmm. tagging the information, mentioning people. Uh, but it should be part of your work. Yeah. Sharing is part of working. <laughs> so after this interview, what would be your lessons learned? Oh, um, my lessons learned is that we shouldn't only train the people in how to use the tools, but mm -hmm. also on the why. That, yeah. that is a very important learning I take with me. Yeah. I think there will be uh, still a lot of more learnings in your book. Yeah. Um, if I remember well, you, your book is, is called Social Technologies in Business. Yeah, that's um, correct. You also travel the world with keynotes to present yeah, your knowledge. Um, so if you're interested to learn more about social technologies in business, I advise you to have a look at your book. Um, you can find it online. Um, and also on yeah, Amazon. And Amazon. Yeah. So we'll also put uh, the link in this post. Okay, thank you very much. So, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you.